All right, in this video, we're going to sketch the graph of the parabola x squared over 12 equals y over 3. And we're going to uh, sort of approach this from the direction, uh, again, of, of thinking about the focus, the directrix, um, kind of using those ideas. Obviously, you know, you could graph this by plotting points. You could uh, think about it as, a, you know, a parabola that's being stretched by a certain factor, all those things. But again, just to... Uh, 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 just to also talk about these ideas, uh, again, of directrix and, and the focus and the vertex and things, uh, things like that. So, okay, so again, I see an x squared and a y in my equation here. So again, I'm going to try to put this in the form x squared equals 4p times y. Again, we've seen from a, a, another example uh, that when we do this, we're able to find the directrix and we're able to find the, uh, the focus of our parabola immediately. So again, what this says to me, it says, hey, take your equation and get the x squared by itself. So, okay, so we have x squared over 12 equals y over 3. Well, to get the, 12, or the x squared by itself, we'll just multiply both sides by 12. So on the left side, the 12s will just cancel out. We've got x squared. Again, you can think about this as being 12 over 3, and that'll leave us with 4 times y. Okay, so again, I want to write this sort of in the form, you know, 4 times some number p. Well, okay, obviously, it's, I think here it's pretty clear what p should equal, but if it was some sort of a more complicated number, again, you would just say 4 times p equals well, whatever the coefficient in front of y is, which is 4 in this case, well, if we divide both sides by 4, we'll just get p equals 1. So again, we know from this form, once we have it in this form, we know that the directrix is of the form uh, y equals negative p, and we know that the focus of our parabola is at 0 comma p. Okay, and recall also when we have our, uh, our, our uh, parabola in the standard form, the vertex is going to be at the origin. And one last thing worth pointing out as well, since our p-value in this case is greater than zero, we know that our parabola is going to open upwards. Okay, so, so I'll use these, uh, these ideas so let's go ahead and fill this in. Well, since p is equal to 1, we know our directrix is going to be y equals negative 1. The focus will be at 0, comma 1. And again, we know that it opens upwards and the vertex is at the origin. And then I guess what I'll do is maybe just plot a couple extra points uh, and put those on there. So again, our equation, we ended up with, uh, where did it go here? We had a... Uh, um, x squared equals 4y. I think I'm going to even rewrite that as x squared over 4 equals y, just to help me plot some points. So we know uh, the parabola, the vertex, is at the origin. I'm going to put my directrix here, y equals negative 1. And we know that the, uh, the focus is at 0, 1. I don't want to put a dot there because you know, usually when we put a dot, we mean that's a point on the graph. So, um, you know, uh, we could use a little dot. I always used to put just like a little X. Um, we can also use a little dot as well. But again, just recall, make sure, you know, this is, uh, this is certainly not a point on the graph. It's just the focus. So the point zero one is on there. And, you know, we could plot a couple extra points. So let's see. Okay, so if we plug in either positive or negative 1, if we plug in positive or negative 1, if we square it, we're going to get 1 over 4. I'm going to plug in, you know, if we plug in positive or negative 2, again, either positive 2 squared or negative 2 squared will be 4 over 4 will give us 1. And you could always plot some more points. I think I'm just going to uh, leave it right there. So let me put a couple points on my graph. Okay, so we said roughly, so at positive 1, we're at 1 fourth, so right about there. Likewise, at negative 1, we're at 1 fourth. Uh, we set at positive 2, 
will be at the y coordinate of 1. Likewise, when y, excuse me, when x equals negative 2, y will equal positive 1. And now we can just try to make it look like a parabola. All right, the left side. Bad looking little parabola, but I think you get the gist. Okay, so there's a little rough sketch of our parabola. Um, again, obviously you could have just uh, immediately, you know, jumped to plotting points. But again, we're trying to emphasize this notion of a focus and a directrix.